What's up guys, Remote Control Bosch here and I have another story for you guys and this is another story from my adventures living in this crazy crazy apartment complex that I live in. It's uh, it's never without an event, let's just say that. Um, but before I get to that I just want to touch on something that has disappointed me and that's Terminal being released today. They released Terminal about three, uh, three and a half hours ago, four hours ago and well you can't actually play it. It's uh, it's very rare to get Terminal. Uh, I don't know whether it's just me, my bad luck, but I played about, I don't know, maybe 20 to 30 matches tonight trying to get Terminal. I got Terminal four times. And that's disappointing to me because I love Terminal in Modern Warfare 3, uh, Modern Warfare 2, and I'm sure I would love it in Modern Warfare 3 if I could actually play the fucking thing. But, you know... Seems to me like you, you, the, common, the common thing to do, the common sense way to go would be okay, we're releasing this map and everyone loved this map, so let's get a playlist and we'll plonk it in there and we'll make it terminal only, we'll make it double experience and we'll put all the game types in, we'll go search and destroy, team deathmatch, fucking kill confirm, domination, and then just have like a mosh pit and have it on terminal, have double XP and double weapon XP. But, you know, common sense obviously doesn't prevail at Infinity Ward, so I don't know. That just disappointed me. So, anyway, the crazy, crazy story is that, if you can probably tell by the title already, that I, though I didn't find them, but my dad, again, found a lady dead in her apartment. And she, was, she wasn't she was old. She was ill. Uh, she we, we all thought that she was older than us because she looked really old, like older than my parents. Like, my parents are 56 or 57. And we all thought she was, like, 70. And she was... Turns out she was, like, 51. And she just looked horrible. So... She was obviously very ill, and uh, anyway, it was uh, it was a Friday afternoon, and it was the week after we had like a massive, massive heat wave. It was like 40 degrees Celsius like every day, and uh, we were finally like getting like 30 degrees, like it was cooler. And we get a phone call from this lady's brother, and he says, oh, you know, I haven't heard from my sister in a little while, like three or four days. Do you mind going over and just checking on her? And my dad was like, okay, like, oh, I don't really want to go over there. Like, he said okay on the phone, but then he was like, uh, I don't I really don't want to go over there. So, at this point in the story, my, my friend had arrived. I was actually going to get some lunch. It was about 12 o'clock. And, uh, we, 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 we left. Like, we're like, all right, see you later. <laughs> and we left, and we got all the way, like, about a 10, 15 minute walk. We got all the way to the shopping center. My phone rings. It's my dad. And he goes, oh, yeah, I kind of just found that lady dead in her apartment. And I was like, oh, shit. So I have to trudge all the way back, hungry, like fucking starving. And yeah, so by the time I got there, the, the ambulance and the coroner had arrived. And well, they had to take her body away. She she passed away in her sleep. That's as far as we, as we could tell. She was just peaceful lying on the bed on her back. But obviously, as you know, as you, when you die, you sort of, your bowels evacuate, so she did obviously, you know, kind of soiled the mattress a little bit, which kind of made it smell, and she'd actually been dead for five days. She'd been dead since Monday. She had, she went to the shops to get a new prescription on the Monday eve on the Monday afternoon, died that night, and no one found her until we found her on the Friday. So, she was a little, uh, stinky, and I'm making a stink noise, uh, stink hand gesture with my hand that you guys can't see, but... Yeah, she was a little smelly, and uh, the coroner took her away, but they didn't take the mattress that she was on, so my parents had to, I was like, I'm not going anywhere fucking near that thing, you can fucking eat a dick, I'm not going anywhere near that, and uh, my parents had to like suit up in like those plastic fucking, like, not, not like a radiation suit, but like those things forensics people wear, where they don't want to contaminate the crime scene, so we had to, I think they gave us a couple of those, and rubber gloves and aprons and just... You know, like, decked out with, like, protection, so... They had to drag the mattress up to the bin. And that took a little while, because it's a mattress full of crap. Basically, it's literally full of crap. And it was... I, I, from what I've been told, I didn't actually look at it. I didn't go anywhere near it. It was, like, heavy. So, it was a double mattress. Like, it was pretty big. So, anyway... After they did that, uh, they said to me I could go finally and get something to eat, because I was starving. And me and my friend, uh, we, we went up the driveway to, on the way to McDonald's just to get a quick, quick food because we, were, we couldn't be bothered going anywhere else. And on the way to the driveway is the bin where they put the mattress. And 
we didn't want to go anywhere near it, so we sort of like covered our nose and like just ran, bolted to, past the the big rubbish bin. And anyway, we went. We probably weren't even gone for longer than an hour, probably even less than an hour, like forty five minutes. And we get back, and the mattress is gone. Somebody had taken the dead lady mattress, and we were like, we weren't like, we were shocked, but we were. Like, I don't know about him, but I was disappointed. Like, I was like, oh, are you serious? Are you that desperate for a mattress that you take one that is A, covered in crap, and B, somebody had died on it. And a couple of days later, this mattress reappeared in the one of the car parks of one of the, the buildings here. And it was uh, just an Indian family that had taken it, thinking, oh, you know, good score. Let's clean it, clean it up. But, oh, man, whoa, whoa. So disgusting. Oh, man. Can't believe, like... I don't care how desperate you are. You shouldn't be taking mattresses that are A, covered in crap, and B, somebody had died on it. Like, I mean, sure, they didn't know that somebody had died on it, because they didn't, like, advertise the fact, but... Oh, I don't know. It's creeping me out just talking about it, but... Yeah, ooh, It's so... It's just, a, like, a tragic story, really, because she was a nice lady. Like, my dad used to help her out uh, with light bulbs and general maintenance, and she used to give us box of chocolate but you know anyway kind of a funny story anyway guys if you enjoyed the video i'd appreciate a like and uh see you guys later